Hey, this is Dr. Centeno, and we're going to talk about C23 and why it's a different level with regard to instability and symptoms. So as you can see here, I've got a digital motion x-ray. This patient's going to go in extension, and we see this offset happening here at C2, C3. Now, if we draw lines on the back of that, we can see that offset is about two plus millimeters. Now, normally that wouldn't be such a big deal, right? Simply because in the lower cervical spine, you can have translation up to three and a half millimeters. But at C2, three, that's different. The max allowed there, uh, mean translation back and forth is 1.4 millimeters. Now, uh, it's also different from the aspect of symptoms because C23 produces symptoms like headaches, dizziness, and balance, and brain fog, whereas the lower cervical spine produces a different set of symptoms. Now, to treat this offset, we would have to treat the anterior longitudinal ligament, and the only way to get there is through a PICL approach from the front through the posterior oropharynx. So, uh, this can be treated, but obviously it involves quite a bit more uh, than treating other types of instability in the cervical spine through injection. So again, just a reminder, C23 is different with regard to instability and symptoms. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.